Hello and welcome to this video and in this video I'll be explaining to you what streaming enabled is and how to enable it. Alright, once you have opened your place, click on workspace and you will see the property streaming enabled down here. Just click on this checkbox here and you have enabled it. So what exactly is streaming enabled? It's basically, it dynamically loads parts of the map aka workspace. That's similar to Minecraft where chunks outside of the player site don't get rendered. Streaming enabled itself has a few properties. Mainly streaming minimum radius, streaming target radius and streaming pause mode. The minimum radius of the streaming is the radius around the player in which parts, models, etc. will be streamed at a higher priority. Increasing this number comes at the expense of higher memory and server bandwidth usage. Then there is streaming target radius, which is basically the maximum distance where parts and etc. get streamed in. And then there is streaming pause mode, which is something more complicated. What it basically does is it prevents the game from behaving weirdly when a player somehow moves into a region which has not yet streamed to them. This property um, helps by pausing local physics simulation and character movement. So how does streaming enabled affect our code? Just take a look at this code. Alright, what it should do is it sets this part's transparency to 0 0.5. But if I click on play, it doesn't and it gives me an error. Part is not a valid member of workspace, but as you can see, it's right here. So streaming enabled what it basically does, the part won't be in the workspace until it's streamed in, alright? So, what you have to do instead is use wait for child. And will wait until the part is in workspace. Now, if I click play, this will work. As you can see, the transparency has been lowered to 0 0.5. Then there is some else like if you want to teleport a player well there are some issues with that as well let's take a look at this code so first of all you have to get the player and then request stream around the sink and then the vector free value of the destination where the player is supposed to be teleported to and then you can teleport the player if you like the video, I'd be happy if you subscribe or leave a like, and see you.